So this stick figure is stuck in a two-dimensional universe, but this two-dimensional universe is actually contained inside of a three-dimensional universe. And as we can see here, in this three-dimensional universe, there is a sphere. Now, because the sphere isn't interacting with that two-dimensional universe, to the stick figure, there is no sphere. However, if we take this two-dimensional universe and we move it so that it interacts with the sphere, we can see, seemingly out of nowhere, a circle has just appeared. And as we take that circle and move it closer to the middle of this sphere, you can see to the stick figure, the sphere gets bigger as it reaches the middle, and then it gets smaller as the two-dimensional universe passes through the sphere until it eventually pops out of existence. Now, of course, to us, we can see that this makes perfect sense. The shape isn't actually changing and morphing, it's just that the cross-section of the sphere that the stick figure can see is being passed through the sphere. So here we're in a three-dimensional universe. So now what we're going to do is take a 4D hypersphere and pass it through this three-dimensional universe. And as we can see, when we do that, we see a sphere that pops into existence, gets bigger as it gets closer to the middle of the hypersphere, smaller as it gets closer to the end, and then pops out of existence again. So going back to our 2D universe contained inside the 3D universe, we can see here that we have a rotating cube. So now if we take the 2D universe and move it through this rotating cube, we can see to the stick figure, it looks like this cube appears to morph and transform and just do all sorts of weird things that like gains more sides and then loses them. All of the angles are changing, but the shape isn't actually changing shape. We can very clearly see here that just the cross section of the shape is being rapidly changed as the object is being rotated. So going back to 3D space, in this 3D space, even though you can't see it, there is a rotating 4D tesseract. And as we move the 3D universe through that tesseract, we can see that it once again appears to change shape and gain sides and do all of that weird stuff, but now in three dimensions. So the shape-shifting of this object is not caused by the object actually changing in any form, it's just simply caused by the object moving and rotating through the three spatial dimensions we're used to and the fourth dimension as well. 